Okay, this is your boy King David for David Goliath Music, BeatClass.com, and this is the How to Mix Using FL Studio tutorial. Now, the first thing I want to tell you is as you're writing your songs, uh, you want to be mixing as you go along. It, it makes it easier that way. But, of course, you'll never really know until the whole thing is done how everything will fit together, so it's kind of like creating a puzzle. But if you keep that puzzle in order as you go along the way, it would be that much more easy to mix. So let's look at what we have we have a track here uh, this is basically a loop um, that needs to be organized into a track and we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen different parts to this track alright each one of them should be running through a different effect some of them will be grouped together uh, my kick is running through effect number two we can look at right here it's going right through the kick alright my snare is going through four which is claps here but it's actually a uh, snare alright hi-hat is going through five sub kick through three my ride hat through five all my highs and my high instruments are going to go through the same channel why because they're similar in frequency now you can separate it if you'd like to and really get more detailed and tweak each one separately. Uh, but for training purposes, we're keeping everything, we're keeping like instruments going through the same effects. My lead sync is going through 12. My shaker should go through 5 along with the hi-hat and the ride hat. The theme is going through 10. Theme is the music. <laughs> Um, I've got a grunt noise that I recorded myself. Uh, uh, Just me uh, going uh, through the microphone. All right, that is going 11, or effect number 11. My snare through four, along with the other snares. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take our snare, press Control, I'm sorry, press Alt, and arrow up and bring it right next to those other snares. I like to group my instruments together and it's a great idea for you to do the same thing. Okay, there's another snare here. Through four, alt, arrow up. Move that right back up there, okay? So we got my grunt and then we got a snare roll. Let's also bring that up to our other snare. Alt, arrow up and press it until I get to where I need to be, okay? my shaker that's actually a hand shaker that I recorded into a microphone um, let's go ahead and put that up by the hi-hats in fact all my like instruments I want to keep together my ride my hi-hat okay shaker and we got my grunt and then my strings alright that is going through 12 Okay, and then we got a oh, oh, that's a sample, and that is going to be going through nine. So we have everything pretty much laid out. I'm going to put my grunt and my sample together, and now we can talk about now mixing this track. We can listen to each uh, instrument coming through each effect separately. Now let's do that now. Here we go. Sample on nine. My hi hat. My snare. My sub. My kick. and the whole track. Okay, so what we're 
we'll do now is we'll take everything track by track. We'll break it down, and then we'll we'll rebuild it again. All right. So I'm going to actually take all of this right now and just jumble it up. Okay. I'm going to also go in here and turn off my effects so we can start. Kind of like when you wake up in the morning with no uh, no makeup, your teeth aren't brushed. We're going to start it that way. And most of these don't have effects on them, so we're going to go ahead and add those. All right, there we go. And even my master effects, I'm going to turn those off. Okay. I'll see you on the next segment. We're going to start moving into, start with the kick. And just go one track at a time. All right, it's your boy King David. One love.